This is Inspired Wellness with Jessica, a safe space for women impacted by their emotions to unlock hope and discover ways to elevate emotional wellness holistically for long-term health and well-being. I am your host, Jessica, advanced EFT practitioner, holistic counselor, meditation therapist, and advanced life coach. Join me for real, raw conversations to educate and inspire you to take control of your emotional well-being. I am so grateful you are here with me. Let's dive straight in. Welcome to this episode of Inspired Wellness with Jessica. Today, I want to talk to you guys about burnout. And if you are sitting here listening, feeling like you have absolutely nothing left to give and wondering how you ended up in this place and how on earth you are going to support yourself to get out of it, then this episode is for you. So let's talk about burnout and let's talk about helping you to identify if burnout is what you are actually experiencing. So when we look at burnout and particularly, you know, are we, are we burnt out or are we just feeling stressed? Burnout is defined as a prolonged state of chronic unmanaged stress and it's defined as being in the workplace. Although I know from my own experience working with clients and you probably know too from just people that you know or even something that you've personally experienced, I think workplace can be a bit of a loose term when we look at, you know, stay-at-home mums, work-from-home mums, uh, you know, business-owning mums, <laughs> when we look at, you know, those roles and how, uh, I guess, common burnout can be for women who are in those situations. So when we do look at it, though, let's just bring it to the workplace for a moment and being able to identify, you know, well, am I just feeling stressed or am I at a place of burnout? When you are feeling stressed, you are going to have, you know, all of the potential signs of stress, however it is that your body responds to stress. And if you don't know, if you haven't done that work, then I highly encourage you to really connect with yourself and find out how you respond to stress. So you might notice when you're stressed that your forehead is always tense or that you might notice that your shoulders are raised up to your ears, that you might sweat, you might have trouble sleeping, you know, you might feel like your heart rate's always going quickly, Uh, you might feel like you are extra anxious or that you have anxiety or panic that's come out of nowhere. You might feel like you are becoming run down that you may be, you know, catching every cold that goes around. And these are all because when your body goes into a state of fight or flight, the physical changes that happen with your body impact each and every one of those things that I just mentioned and many, many more symptoms. But if you are stressed and you um, stay in a prolonged state of this stress, then the stress becomes chronic. Now, chronic stress in a workplace could come from management. It could come from conflict. It could come from workload. It could come from boundaries and your ability to hold boundaries at work. It could come from so many different places. But what it results in is a state of physical, emotional, and mental exhaustion that's caused by this prolonged stress, okay, this stress that you are experiencing daily, this stress that, you know, is not leaving your body when you go home at nighttime, this stress that makes you feel like you are unable to meet the constant demands of your work. And then as a flow on effect of life. So if you're in this state of chronic stress, when it continues daily, weekly, and it's not getting a break, then you're likely to begin to experience 
burnout. And I'm going to talk in a moment about different things, you know, um, that are associated with burnout, uh, different uh, sort of symptoms, I guess. <laughs> so then let's look at, let's look at, say, a mum, for example. Let's look at a mum who has, you know, young children and has a business. If you are a mum in business, your job is not only your business, but it is also your children. And it's also the same if you're a working mum. Your job is not just, you know, going to work, but your job is also your children. So when we look at stress in, like as a state of burnout being caused by the workplace, I'd like you to actually take a step back and look at your workplace and open up to the idea that, it, you know, what happens at home could also very much be contributing to this place of burnout. It's something that is really important to become aware of because I think so often we can say, oh, you know, well, my job's really stressful, so that's why I've become, I've gotten to this point, when really at the same time, you know, there's no boundaries at home with asking your husband for help or you're resentful because you feel like you have to do everything at home and you've got the stress at work. So just take a step back from your life and from your workplace and whatever your workplace looks like for you. If you are a, if you are a stay-at-home mom, it doesn't mean you sit around doing nothing all day. It means that you have constant things to do for your child or your children. And if you are in these places of, you know, juggling or being at home and you have stress that is constant, that is unmanaged, unreleased and becomes chronic, then you are at risk of burnout. Now, burnout, when you get there, is hard to come out of. It's a tough place to be. You are emotionally, mentally, physically drained. You likely have very little interest in the activities that you need to be doing. So in the case of the workplace, you might be really cynical. You might just have absolutely no motivation whatsoever to be there, to do your job. And that can also happen at home no motivation to do the tasks that you need to do. You could become very cynical around the home as well. You could experience a sense of emotional numbness. Your anxiety could also increase. Generally, when you're in a place of burnout, your mental health is suffering, you're run down, unwell. You have emotions that are flying everywhere. You're likely not sleeping and you haven't got any energy left. And this makes you feel like you have completely reached the limit of what you can cope with. And that just makes everything above that limit feel like it's too much. Like it's just too much. So when we are in a place of burnout, you know, it could feel very lonely And it could feel very overwhelming because, you know, chronic headaches on their own are hard enough without having other things or anxiety on its own is hard enough without having other things. And when you're burnt out, you are generally experiencing four or more of the following things like muscle tension. And you'll feel that in your jaw and your shoulders, your face, your upper back chronic headaches, stomach problems, emotional bloating, emotional numbness, which I just mentioned before, feelings of helplessness. We spoke about cynicism, exhaustion. You might be withdrawing from your social networks, with from work, from your responsibilities, from your family. You might be really extremely irritable. You might begin to neglect your personal needs. And also just feel this real sense of loss of motivation that we just spoke about. 
So if you have one or two of these things, then you are stressed, okay? You are battling stress and you have the opportunity to intervene in that stress before it becomes burnout. But if you're in, if you're in burnout and you have four or more of those things, then you have this job on your hands all of a sudden where you're like, well, somehow I need to sleep and somehow I need to take care of my anxiety and somehow I need to stop these headaches and somehow I need to get rid of this constant cold that I'm always catching. So being in burnout can feel like, you know, you've really got to rise out of the ashes to get out of it. And it can be scary and it can feel really tough. And also, you know, like you're really alone. Like how do you move forward from burnout? And then if you do move forward from it or when you do move forward from it, if you do, then how do you stop it from happening again? And it really comes down to stress management. When you have come out of your burnout, you want to be looking at stress management. You want to be putting into place plans to manage the regular stress in your life. I've spoken so many times before about protection plans. So how are you going to stop the unavoidable stress in your life from actually consuming you and affecting you. So you want to be looking at stress management strategies, regular relaxation, things that you can do to prevent that chronic stress buildup. Boundaries are a really, really big one. Boundaries often lead to stress because we find ourselves taking on things because of beliefs that we have or fears that we have. For whatever reason, we feel like we can't say no. We're scared to say no. So all these things are things that you can do to prevent burnout reoccurring. But then there's the big question of, okay, so I am in this place. How do I actually get out of it? What do I do? What's the first step? And, you know, that is probably a very multifaceted answer because you are going to have a different, you know, set of circumstances to somebody else. But my advice is before you try and take on anything else, spend some time engaging your relaxation response. Spend some time calming your mind and your body because you can't move forward and deal with any of what you've got to do while you are in your stress response. So you need to be practicing every day physical things like meditation or tapping or deep breathing that engage your relaxation response. Okay? Because what you what you want to do is take yourself out of your stress response. Because remember when you are are burnt out, you are in a place of chronic stress that has been unmanaged. And don't, that's not an attack to say that your stress has been unmanaged. You've likely done the very best that you can with the tools and the circumstances that you've had and the nature of our extremely busy lives and extremely accessible lives is that we're going to become stressed and because we're so used to living in this state of being on the go of you know never stopping of always being accessible of really overstimulation because we are so used to living in this state you know it's often hard to even realize internally that you are actually in this place until it's too late So if you are feeling burnt out, if you have answered yes to at least four of those things on my list before, and I will go through them again quickly. So things like muscle tension, chronic headaches, stomach problems, emotional bloating, emotional numbness, feeling helpless, cynicism, exhaustion, withdrawal, irritability, 
neglecting personal needs and loss of motivation. If you are experiencing at least four of those things, either at your workplace or at your workplace, which as I said earlier, you know, could be for you the home, it could be business and home, it could be work and home, whatever your workplace is for you. If you are experiencing at least four of these things, then the very first thing that you need to do, your first step, that's all you need to know today, is your first step is to calm your nervous system, regulate your nervous system, bring in your relaxation response and begin doing that now. Get off this podcast and do some tapping. You could even stop right now and take a deep breath with me. And if you're not burnt out, take this breath anyway because you're going to need it. (laughs) Take a really big inhale right into your stomach. Allow your shoulders to drop. And exhale out your mouth. Just do that again. Inhale. And exhale out. And as you jump off this podcast, go and keep breathing. Keep activating that relaxation response. And if you are thinking, do you know what? I can't do this alone. I have no idea how I'm going to move forward. Then that's okay too. I would like to invite you to join me in Ignite. If you feel like you cannot manage burnout on your own. Ignite is a mind-body intervention for just six women who are experiencing or on the brink of burnout. Okay, so that's if you've got at least four of those symptoms that we spoke about earlier. And what we want to do in Ignite in a really intimate and personalized and supportive small group experience combined with personal um, private sessions is to bring your mind and body back into a state of relaxation to help you deal with the issues and the triggers that are causing you stress, help you to set healthy and powerful boundaries, and also to help you regain your energy and reduce your overall stress levels and equip you with prevention tools to move forward. So if this sounds like something that you would like to be a part of, then you need to click on the link in the show notes because as I mentioned, this round that starts on the 15th of June is only taking six women. And the reason for that is because I want to facilitate a really intimate and supportive group experience through group therapy processes using natural therapies, holistic counseling, EFT, meditation therapy, and stress management skills to really help you to step out of that place of burnout, but then also support you to not end up there as well. So if this is you, then you can inquire through the link below. Clicking on the link isn't an instant, yes, I'm in. Uh, You do need to just submit a small form that just helps me to make sure that this is the right program for you and that you will get the maximum benefit from this program. And then from there, you'll get a call from me and I will welcome you into Ignite. So we start on the 15th of June and there is currently an early bird pricing offer where you are going to save $300 off the price if you do commit to Ignite before the 5th of June. And if you are unsure if Ignite is the right program, or if you are in burnout, or if you have chronic stress, if you are unsure, then please reach out for a free consultation. I offer a 20 minute free chat, and that will just help you to gain some clarity on what you know the best next steps may be for you specifically. You can also access that link down in the show notes. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. If you are in burnout, then go and begin to activate that relaxation response. Bring your mind and body into a place of calm. Help your stress response to switch off regularly by 
meditation, by tapping, by exercising. Okay, move your body, help all that excess adrenaline to release from your system. Do these things to support yourself and that is your first step. That is the only thing you need to think about right now is that very, very first step. All the other things that you are experiencing can wait, but they are not going to go away if you don't deal with the stress that is in your body. Have an amazing week, guys, and I look forward to catching you next week, and I'm so, so grateful for everybody who has listened today, and I look forward to hearing from you if you would like to join me in Ignite. You've been listening to Inspired Wellness with Jessica. If you loved what you heard today, make sure you subscribe to this podcast and leave a review. If you know someone who would love to hear all about this topic, make sure you share this episode on your socials and tag me at inspiredlife.byjessicaann. You can get in touch with me through my website, www.inspiredlifecollective.com.au. Thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.